Soy milk is so nutritious with so many health benefits. In this video, I'll be sharing how you can make this milk to loosen up the flavor of the soy milk so it tastes less beany. You are welcome. Let's get started. We are starting off with the soya beans I used. This is three cups. This cup is baking cup. You will have to remove the deaths as much as you can. It also comes with tiny, tiny stones and sand. You have to get rid of all of this first before washing them. Get rid of the stones and the deaths and then wash with a lot of water. Wash properly. You can do this under running water. Once you are done, the soya beans should look cleaner without any deaths or sand. Add enough water. You should add water more than the level of the soya beans. This is because soya beans can swell up. If you notice that the soya beans have sucked all the water you added, you need to add more water and let this sit overnight. You can keep this in your refrigerator. After 12 hours or overnight, this is the outcome. The beans should be very soft. The skin should come off easily. It should have swollen in size about two to three times more. Soaking will help to make it easier to de haul and blend to make milk. Once this is well soaked, once you touch the beans, the skin should come off easily. If yours is not coming off easily, you will need to soak for some time. I'll drain the water, added another water to start the washing process. I will have to rub this in between my palm to get rid of the skin. You can do this just the way you wash your beans to make my mai. Simply wash in between your palm and the skin should come off easily. You will have to wash properly even if some of the skin is not removed. Don't worry, it won't affect the milk. Once this is washed, this is the skin. I will simply trash this or add it to my compost. The soya bean skin is not harmful to your health. Even if there are some that were not removed, don't worry, it is okay. This won't affect the milk. Once I'm done, it is time to blend. You can do this at home. But I took mine to the mill to blend. If you are using your personal blender at home, make sure you blend very well. Make sure you blend until everything is smooth. I'm back now and look at the outcome. Make sure your soya bean milk is frothy just like so. It should not contain any bean. Make sure all the beans are well crushed. It should be smooth just like this. Make sure yours is like this. It should be frothy. It should not contain any bean at all. So I'll be adding just a little water to make the consistency light. You may have to blend more than once if you are using your personal blender at home. Once this consistency is light, I'll be using my muslin bag to strain. You can use a chiffon cloth or a cheese cloth as well. Strain this to extract the milk. Once I pour this into my muslin bag, the milk will start dripping. You can see the milk. To help this process, I will have to hold the two sides of the bag and shake properly so that the milk will come up very well, just like so. This is exactly the same way you process your pap or ogi. Shake the bag so that the milk can come up. Once this is done, it is not complete. We will still be extracting more milk from this okara. This is not yet okara yet because there is still milk. I will get a bowl with clean water and try to extract more milk. Just like so. You will be surprised. There will still be milk coming up. Look at the milk. This should have wasted. Make sure you strain more than once guys. Don't let this waste. Once this is done, look at the milk. I added them together. And here is the okara. This okara is simply the chaff from the soya bean. This can be used in different ways. You can use them for vegetable burgers, for crackers, or even for bread. Some livestock feed on this okara. If you don't have any need for all of this, you can simply add them to your compost or trash them. This is the okara. Back to the pot. Can you spot where this milk is? In this pot, 
there is still space in this pot. This is because this milk can bubble really quick. So you shouldn't fill your milk to the brim inside this pot so that when it starts bubbling, there will be enough space for it to bubble. Now it is a medium to low heat on a stove top. Make sure you stir from time to time so that it won't burn. Look at the milk now. It is pure white. Can you see that? This milk is so white now. By the time this is done, the color will change. You will start perceiving a very good aroma of this soy milk. Even your neighbors will know that you are preparing soy milk. This is how you know that this milk is getting ready. It is boiling now. Once it starts boiling, we'll be adding salt. This salt is just to balance this milk. Always add salt. You will love it. Next is to add all the flavors and sweetness. You can add a stick of cinnamon. I won't be adding cinnamon in this. You can also add sugar, vanilla, melted chocolate. Anything you want to add to this milk, you can add it now. For this, I'll be using this vanilla. I'll be adding just a teaspoon. And finally, I'll be sweetening this with half cup of sugar. You can use any sweetener of your choice. Cane sugar, cane syrup, anything of your choice is okay. I will simply stir this and let this simmer for 20 minutes. This is the game changer. If you want to wind down or loosen up the flavor of the soy milk so it tastes less beany. You have to simmer for 20 minutes after you must have added your salt and your flavors. This is just the difference between the one you have been making and the store-bought ones. You have to simmer for 20 minutes. Once 20 minutes is over, let this cool. Once it is cooled, you will notice the skin on top of this milk. Simply scoop this out and discard it. This drink is best served chilled. You can use it in your smoothie. You can also use it as a substitute for milk. You can add it to your coffee. You can add it in baked goods. You can use soy milk in curry. You can also eat cereal with soy milk. When you try this recipe, let me know the difference between the soy milk you have been making and this my recipe. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next one. Please like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't. Bye-bye.